In the last video of signal integrity basics, we have discussed how to assign model and extract topology of data zero net for DDR2 interface. In this video, we'll learn more about SIG Explorer tool, how to add RX part of the circuit by adding different components in SIG Explorer canvas. We'll also learn how to edit components parameters. Before starting, I just want to tell you a few points about this topology. So as you can see, the first point is, this is a part of 266 MHz data bus and on this XU2, so this is a DIMM connector, we're going to place a 512 megabit of RAM and U7 is our FPGA controller. So as per the design guidelines given on the Micron document, we have to add further receiver circuit on this. To add IO model for DDR2 memory to our topology, that will be the receiver part of the simulation, we have to go to analyze and click over libraries. Now here you'll find a IBIS model tab. Just click over this one. And out of these IBIS model file, we have to add a DRAM memory. So let's select that and click over translate. Now it is asking, we're going to select make models name unique to the file and click OK. So till now the device model and all buffer models are translated. Now we'll click over close. Now in the next step, we're going to add a components on SIG Explorer for DRAM. To do that, we have to click over add elements. And from this model type filter, we have to select IBIS IO model. And if you will scroll down, you will find memory DRAM DQ full model. Let's select that and place it. Right click and click over and add and OK. So till now we have placed the translated IO model for DRAM memory. Now in the next step, we are going to place other components for receiver circuit. So firstly, let's move it somewhere here and we are going to place two components. One will be the register and one will be transmission line. To do that, again click over add elements and from here you have to select generic elements and click over register. Let's place it somewhere here, right click and add. Again we have to place a interconnect and select transmission line and place it somewhere here. Right click and add. OK. Now we are going to make a receiver circuit which will be connected on XU2. I am just going to do that quickly. Alright. So till here we have made the circuit. Now I am just going to put parameters. So firstly let's change this time delay mode to length and just click over this plus button and we're going to edit the properties for TL3 and TL4. So here we go. In this case, the length of TL3 is 2800, which is correct. And the length of TL4 is 2800. All right. So we don't need to change anything. The only change is now we can able to switch the mode between time delay and length. Now let's save this save explorer file. To do that, we'll just click over this save button and replace it with the existing one. So till here we have completed our circuit. In the next video, we're going to simulate it for a lossless transmission line and we'll see the reflection on transmitter and receiver. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.